Hello, welcome to this very quick review of the Astel Hotel here in Juso uh, in Osaka. Just a quick review, just in case you're thinking of coming to Osaka for, well, any reason, but obviously I come on theme park travels. Now, the reason why I picked this hotel is because it's about half an hour from like the main kind of busy area of Osaka, or like the famous, the busy. I think it's called Don Tari. Don Tom Berry, it's called. It has like that weird Ferris wheel and like all the food, all the street food, all that sort of stuff. I went there actually a couple of nights ago just for kind of a look around and for something to eat. It's also about half an hour metro ride away from Universal Studios Japan, which is where I visited. If you've not seen, go and check that out on the channel already. And it's also about half an hour away from the Osaka airport. Osaka has two airports. Mine is the northern uh, one that I'm going to. Then flying back to Hanada, and then going over to, uh, back to Shanghai, which eventually means I'll be going back to London Heathrow from Shanghai. So that's why I picked this hotel. So very quickly, the room, again, I have this thing where I actually like to stay in the room a few days before reviewing it. A lot of people walk in and try and review it without staying in it, and I think that's a bit pointless. Uh, so, safe, fridge, coffee, I imagine? Yeah, kettle. They do also give you the stuff for the uh, public bath on the top floor. It's like a rooftop one here. We have a little bathroom. Obviously, the holy grail of toilets, the Japanese toilet. Shower with a window, which is a bit odd. It also has a mirror in the shower. Uh, this is obviously a single occupancy because there's only, there's only me on the trip. You get a dehumidifier. I've seen this a few times. Um, or oh, is it a humidifier? Sorry, not a dehumidifier. A humidifier. A massive window, which does open because it was roasting here, but it does have proper air con. Some of the air con that I've had has been, um, if it's warm outside, it'll cool. If it's cold outside, it'll warm, and that's the only way it works. This is a proper unit. It does. I think it does both. Uh, you got a crab staring down at me. TV, I'm not switched the TV on, because obviously none of it will be in uh, English. Bed, on my kind of rating scale, it would be firm to soft. It's the most comfortable bed that I've had uh, whilst in Japan. Uh, excuse the mess, but you do also get inbuilt chargers, which has been pretty handy because I charge quite a few things with all the different connections on. Free water, USB, normal socket. I say normal socket, but what you expect over here. And also you've got these controls, which every hotel, that's, and, they, and these dim as well. I mean, it's, at night it's quite nice uh, to have them dimmed. Everywhere has a torch. These are little torches. Every unit that I've done, uh, every hotel I've been into has a torch. What's this? Oh, some tissues. Gas facilities, you can get free uh, a free coffee when you come in. There's also free fruit juices, which I saw when we came in. They do do breakfast, but it's a charged breakfast. I don't pay for breakfast in hotels because it's just so expensive. And also uh, there's everything, everything. I mean, one thing about Japan is there's food everywhere and it's not expensive. So I don't know why hotels charge so much for it, to be honest. This hotel cost me 33 pounds a night. It's January, 2024, 33 pounds, it's just, I just find that crazy. Service as I came in, obviously impeccable. They do, if you request it, if you put a little thing on the door, they will change all the stuff every day. They'll even leave a bag outside with fresh sheets if you're not in, similar to the other hotels I've had in Japan. You can see this setup is how the corridors are laid out. The corridors are like really dark and I really love that. I just, I always, it always feels much more premium when they have dark corridors. And maybe that's not to everyone's taste, but I really like it. On the, fourth floor and i think on the eighth floor there's a little room with ice machine vending machine microwave that sort of thing that's it really it is a very quick little review just in case you're thinking of coming here if you did find the video helpful please press the like button please subscribe if you can as well there's a whole playlist from japan shanghai lots of theme parks lots of hotels solo trip all on the channel there's a playlist on there go and take a look at that for lots of videos but that's it for this video I'll see you next video.